All right, so the official top five list of people you can call when you are in dire need of justice are John Wick, Ray Donovan, Brian Mills, Jack Reacher, and Saul Goodman. Oh my God, you better call Saul. So nobody stars Bob Odenkirk, Connie Nielsen, Christopher Lloyd, and Rizza, and it follows Hutch Mansell, an everyday guy working an everyday job. He's got a wife, he's got kids, until one day, a couple of thieves break into his house. However, instead of trying to fight back, he does nothing. This kind of eats away at Hutch, and he decides, you know what, justice needs to be done. And you realize there might be a little bit more to this auditor than meets the eye. So I was looking forward to Nobody. I saw the trailer for it, and I thought, wow, that looks like John Wick meets Death Sentence. And I gotta say, Nobody is a lot of fun. I want to get right into the positives. First off, Bob Odenkirk is a really fantastic actor, and he's great in this movie. I believe he said he trained for like two years just to get in tip-top shape so that he could learn all this fight choreography and I gotta say, dude, it really pays off. You always see movies like this where they're like, oh my god, the everyday guy, but he's played by Liam Neeson. Like, I'm sure he is in real life, but like, he could also break my friggin' arm like it was a twig. But Bob Odenkirk, I'm not really looking at this guy like he could really kick my ass. So them casting him in this movie is actually kind of smart. Also, I feel like in this movie, you're seeing Bob Odenkirk go up against like seven guys at once. You never really see him fight anybody one-on-one. -on -one. He's usually fighting like seven guys. So it's interesting to watch him do it because one, he gets his ass kicked, but also two, he works through it and it's really fun and really entertaining to watch him get hurt and then work through it and just oh just yeah what am i doing however while the action scenes in this movie are fantastic the story doesn't really have that much to offer now don't get me wrong the story of this movie is not really bad it's just kind of generic it's a story you've seen a million times before he fights a bunch of guys he pisses somebody off the guy's a drug lord he gets angry i want him alive and then he goes after him and then we have an end fight and it's really cool and then credits so you're not really coming to this movie to see a story. But I will say that it is a little bit jumbled at times and sometimes it's kind of hard to understand who the fuck Bob Odenkirk is. It's so rushed in explaining the past of this stuff that it actually kind of misses that and it makes you confused of like, well, who the fuck is this guy? Why is he so badass? I will also say the pacing of this movie is a little rough sometimes. Sometimes it will have a really exciting action scene that will kind of slow down. You're like, I don't really care about these characters so I can't really get in invested in the story here. However, this was not a movie that I went into thinking, man, this is going to be a really deep story. I went into it to see Bob Odenkirk kick ass. And did I get that? Absolutely. So while nobody can be messy, convoluted, and devoid of character development, really fun action sequences and a charismatic lead performance from Bob Odenkirk mostly make up for its shortcomings. And yes, that was scripted. If you get a chance to rent it, I would rent it. I think it's a lot of fun. I think if you like action movies, if you like John Wick and you like Better Call Saul, this is a movie that you could really have a lot of fun with. I'm going to give nobody a 7 out of 10. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm just trying to kind of get into the rhythm of it. I'm a little rusty here, so please forgive me if I'm a little all over the place. I'm going to try and do sketches and movie reviews. It's a weird combination, but uh... I don't know, man. I'm just trying to have fun with this YouTube channel, and uh, so far it's been really great. Thank you to everybody who subscribes, who likes, who comments, who watches. It really helps me out a lot. If you like this and you want to see more, click subscribe, like, comment, share this, and stay groovy, watch a movie. That was stupid. That was a stupid thing to say.